Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, I have another unboxing for everybody. Now, I had this sent to this, uh, from the States to me. And uh, it came in a little brown box, but this is what was in the box, no other uh, stuff, so. It's kind of semi-unboxing. <laughs> if you wanted, I did that to save space for my sea uh, cargo box. Now what we have here is the newer 32 inch uh, octagonal soft box. And uh, here's the actual soft box itself. And it comes in this nice little nylon pouch. And there's our diffuser baffle. Now this little pouch is basically it's made out of like a basic raincoat material. You know, it's not super heavy duty, but it really doesn't have to be. It, it uh, It's actually really decent for what you're getting here. And for the, yeah, it actually keeps the dust and stuff off your soft box, so not bad. Like I said, it's not super expensive, but I'm really happy to have it. And you really can't complain, because these soft boxes only cost about $25 off Amazon, sometimes less. Okay, now we have our inner diffuser here. Let's take a look at that. If I can get it out of the packaging. I I had a chance to get this thing out since I got the stuff in just a couple of days ago. Uh, garbage that. I'm not too flat. It's, it's about right. About what you expect from a little diffuser. I said it is octagonal shaped. Let's get over here to the soft box. All right. Now this, like I said, octagonal is a octagon, which is umbrella style softbox. Right. Now this one right here, uh, if you try to set it up, there's a short rod. Let me see if I can get the camera right here on the inside, and it locks in like a normal umbrella. However, trying to pull on that little rod with, you know, this, you know, it's kind of a pain. So what I recommend is just take it and stick it in the floor. Grab the handle and boom, that easy, one-handed. Okay. Now it's got this nice little reflective metal material in it. Uh, and there's nylon. Now so this sounds like a little bit thicker, heavy-duty raincoat material. And, uh, well, there's not two layers here. Basically what they do is they uh, polymer-coated or poly-coated the... Uh, metallic layer on this side but hey, it keeps the weight down it looks just fine to me now the rods in it are a notes are a fiberglass and it has velcro velcro all the way around and uh, it's got a little zipper thing at the bottom to stick through your uh, tripod and stuff not or your not light stand excuse not tripod but you could use a tripod if you had to. And it used a regular standard rod, so, you know, overall not too bad. Seems pretty decent. Like I said, $20. And this is a, what's it called, 80 centimeter, I think, which is about, I think it's about three feet. Optical and softball. It's actually quite big. Now, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I ordered two of these. This is the first one I got in. So, should work pretty good. And so the diffuser here has a Velcro in it. So what you do is you attach it all the way around. Now, I'm not gonna try to attach it right now and hold the darn thing. You know, <laughs> that's for another video and setting it up. But, breaks down really quick, it's fast. I really like that. And overall, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, like I said, I'll do a review on it. Don't you know if there's any defects or anything I run across after I've used it for a couple months? Well, overall, initial impressions of it is well worth the money. Now, a lot of people might be uh, don't like these, but a lot of people also set their uh, st uh, flashes and stuff. Because this right here is for flash photos. You don't want to put anything like a uh, that generates heat inside this thing. So if you're using regular speed lights, this is what this one is for. And when you shoot these uh, into these you don't point the speed lights out towards the diffuser you point them back in that way the light bounces around and you get a much evener uh, even spread on the inside so that's it for this unboxing uh like i said look for review here in a couple months also look for some uh tutorials coming up 
you know, early next year also, uh, in 2016. Well, I'm doing a lot of budget, uh, low end, uh, portrait photos and stuff to teach everybody how you can do really decently, uh, good and almost, you know, professional results on a normal person's budget so keep that keep that in mind and if you like this video everyone thumbs up thumbs up is always highly appreciated if not a subscriber to my channel yet be sure to subscribe subscribe is free it's for you to let you know and release more videos until next time everyone thank you for watching